What's up guys this is Shukesh Bonik from Gadgets Portal and today I'm going to make a water test on this new Samsung Galaxy S5. As you know this phone is water and dust resistant and it's IP67 certified. Now the question is what does this IP67 mean? Well IP stands for ingress protection or international protection and this is basically a classification system showing the degree of protection from solid objects and liquids. The first number refers to the protection against solid objects normally dust and the second one is for the protection against liquids so the 6 on the ip67 shows the degree of dust resistance and the good news is this is the highest level of protection that is this galaxy s5 is totally dust resistant and the 7 stands for the water resistance and though this is not the highest level of protection but this ensures that this phone is protected against 1 meter of fresh water immersion and this is for up to 30 minutes so don't just throw this device into deep water body now the back cover of this new S5 is removable and the battery, the SIM card slots and the memory card slots are also open unlike other devices. To ensure proper sealing, Samsung has used some rubber here so you should firmly attach this back cover to this phone not only on the edges but also on the middle part. Let me show you how should you do this. Now you should also press on the middle parts and you may hear some clicking sounds and uh, this will ensure that this phone is properly sealed. The next thing you should check is the cover on the USB port. As you know there is no warranty on the water and dust damage so you should ensure that this door as well as the back cover is properly sealed. Sometimes you may get notifications from the phone that the back cover or the USB port door is open. So that's great. Now the phone is ready and I'm going to first wash this phone with plain water and check different things like the touch sensitivity, the fingerprint scanner and also the heart rate monitor. Well you can see that there is no issue here. You can just wash your phone just like so. Well now I'm going to check the touch sensitivity of the display and you will see that under water the display touch sensitivity is not working properly because the display is highly sensitive to water as well. So you cannot use this phone under water or even with a splash of water. Now I'm going to submerge this phone into water and let's check what happens. Well, this phone can obviously handle this amount of water pressure and uh, you can see that the fingerprint scanner is repeatedly scanning. So better turn that off before immersion. Now let's try different things under water. First of all, let's try the touch sensitivity and as usual there is no touch sensitivity active under water. Second thing I want to try is the fingerprint scanner and it is scanning but the scanning is not correct and uh, yes again repeatedly this phone is scanning the fingerprint scanner. The back and menu key is also not working. So there is no way you can use the fingerprint scanner under water. In fact with wet hand this fingerprint scanner also doesn't work. You have to totally dry off your phone as well as your finger. Next I want to show you the functionality of the heart rate monitor under water. Well as you can see it's not working. I have tried this before and this doesn't work under water. Last but not the least is the camera functionality and as you know you cannot touch on the display and take pictures but you can use the volume rocker. Let me show you. Volume rocker works as a shutter so you can take images under water and you can also use the flash. For recording videos you can start recording before immersion.
guys i want to show you a shorthand trick as you know with wet hand the display touch doesn't work properly so if you receive a call and want to answer that you can use the home key for answering that call and power key for rejecting let me show you what is the settings you should check under the call settings you will find this answering and ending calls option you should check this one for answering calls using home key and to reject any call using the power key you should check this option in fact i always use these options because this is the fastest way of answering and ending calls well guys though the water resistance of this s5 sounds quite cool there are some bad consequences because of this the microphone on this s5 is not up to the mark i always hear complaints from the other side that they cannot hear me properly this is basically a common phenomenon on all the water resistant devices the next issue is the speaker is also not that much loud and not that much clear compared to other devices from Samsung like the Galaxy S4, Note 3 etc. And last but not the least because of this water resistance and dust resistance, the dimensions of this phone is quite huge compared to other devices like S4, Note 3 etc. And the bezel as you can see is also quite wide. Well guys, I hope that you have found this video quite helpful. If you like this, then you can subscribe to this channel because I will upload a lot more videos on this S5 and keep you updated. I have also uploaded a series of tips and tricks reviews on this beautiful smartphone in my channel. You can check the description below for direct links. Well, that's all for now guys. Thanks for watching and keep in touch.